I don't know how it's happened, but our Shire engine's on the go again. Now, we've heard it said here today that Wombat's nothing more than a heap of scrap metal. Wonder who said that? Well, it'd be silly to keep Mr. Spack waiting, wouldn't it? Yes. Let him have the wreck before midnight Monday. Yes. But let us remind Mr. Spack that he doesn't own it yet. It's mine, my rights, Forsyth. Stolen. Off my land. <laughs> You won't get far. Be ready for that. Jess, yes, we haven't taken the vote yet. <laughs> Mr Chairman, we've seen that the engine can run. Time we voted on the motion so everyone can get off home. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I second that. I oppose. Half the meeting's gone already. Oh. Yes, so we've got a call. Oh, sure. You only need a dozen. Count the heads. <laughs> Come on, there's enough. Read the motion. <clears throat> that the Shire disposes of its surplus rolling stock from the Winnowadgery Railway. Would anyone like to speak for the motion? There's been enough debate. Yeah. Mm. Against. What's the use? Area. Very well. All those in favour of the motion. All those against. <laughs> <laughs> Surprise, yeah? Ah, you're happy to know, eh? <laughs> We're going to have a really great time on Monday. Yeah, yeah, with, uh, on Monday. Driving all the way to Paradise Gap. And back. I feel I should point out that this is all a waste of time. Your rejection of this proposal only holds until Monday night. Unless the train is made fully operational by then, everything gets sold anyway. A lot can happen by Monday. Yeah. We can run the train by then. Good on you, Charlie. To satisfy the regulation, we need only to run the train the full length of the line to show that it's fit for work. And you'll be there to see it, won't you, Mr. Brown? Oh. Oh. Well, the uh, Paradise Gap Mine is looking for the best and cheapest transport. But it has to be reliable. Now, can that engine make the grade? Yeah, it's a real tough deadline. But Wombat's running. All we have to do is clear the line. He did very bravely in that we run today, but uh, needs a lot of work before I'd see him fit for climbing yet. Well, any help you need, we'll find it. No, I'm all right in that direction, thank you. The kids? Aye. I feel a wee bit like Father Christmas and his elves. <laughs> <laughs> but you need more time. And a great deal of luck. But Squeaker and I are going to get a head start tonight. But will you be able to work in the dark? Aye, we'll take a lantern with us, Mrs. Carpenter. So while the resties are out there singing and dancing, kicking up your heels, we'll get to work and cleaning yon wombat's tubes. On your own? Just the two of you? There's no room for any more in the cabin. Besides, he's a real good helper, that squeak. I tell you, he's a real little engineer. <laughs> so, it was you. It was beautiful. <laughs> oh, I had a bit of help. <laughs> <laughs> so you needed troops, but you were the general, huh? <laughs> it's worth a couple of free games, eh, Carlo? Good idea, but I give him six games. <laughs> You have to, but oh, thanks. Yeah. What about the troops? Hot chocolate for the troops, huh? Come here. <laughs> With my pleasure. The train is safe. Oh, pretty well. Where? Oh, I never tell a secret. I mean, tomorrow I work in the working bee and I find out then, so? There's a siding down by the graveyard. Is anybody there? How do you mean? Well, to keep it safe. Well, they wouldn't try to find it in the dark. Yeah, that's true. Especially near the graveyard. <laughs> the ghost will guard the engine, huh? <laughs> <laughs> you kept this pretty quiet. I would have told you if you could have been free to help. Yeah, but I was working. I knew. Blame the slave driver. Mm. Peter, tomorrow I join the working bee to help with the train, huh? Yeah, and so I'm stuck in here again. I couldn't, Peter, do it. Well, uh, Mrs. Carpenter asked me herself. I mean, to help clear the line. <laughs> I feel out of it completely. You ought to be out of this job. There's nothing else going. Yes. Thank you so you're coming to the dance tomorrow night? Uh, I didn't bring any good clothes. Oh, that 
won't matter. It's casual. All you need is something a bit neat. Uh, I don't know whether I should come, actually. You mean because of your dad? Yeah. Mum, I'm fine. I was just wondering how you were. Mum, I'm meant to be going to a dance tonight. You wouldn't mind. Of course she wouldn't mind. Yes? It's happened? Right. Well, it's happening. The vet's with her now. So we're not going dancing? Well, I'll, you know, see you in there later, perhaps. Depending on Jezebel? I'm afraid so. How's she looking? Oh, great. Oh. Look, you, you don't mind, do you, Jess? Of course not. Excuse me. A man and his prize cow can't be parted. Oh, Jess. Oh, teasing. Off you go now, and good luck. Right, eh? I'll see you later. Thanks again, Mr. Arblaster. All right, you all right now, son? Sure. Good. Bye-bye. What was all that about? Oh, Georgie Speck bailed me up in the car park this afternoon with a couple of mates. When you left the meeting? Yeah, only Don showed up with a stock whip and boy did they run. Don R. Blaster? Really? Lad, who's born to be king? Hi, all set to go? Oh, but let's see the sky. Do you ever do any singing yourself, laddie? Oh, eh? yeah, but more the up-to-date stuff. The up-to-date stuff, eh? What a grand day this has been, eh? Yeah. <laughs> well, have a wee seat. Uh, don't you think we ought to get going? No, 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 there's plenty of time. Fetch a wee chair over there. Oh, That's but, it. but you said there's quite a lot of work to do. Aye, but time passes slowly for a happy man. Besides which, laddie, I want to thank you. What for? Well, forget me the smell of that engine again, and for not listening to me when I said I didn't want it. But you're the only one that can drive it. You could learn. You've got the application. You know what? It's a grand pity you were born outside the age of steam. You not understand me? Oh, yeah, sure. When steam trains were everywhere. <sighs> everywhere. In my young days, you couldn't have been getting more permanent. The whole world rode in steam. Now, to think something as grand as your Unlimited has just been put aside. Ah, well, anyway, pass me that wee glass down. This is a wee bit of a celebration. The one at the end of the mantelpiece, that's it. <laughs> this here, laddie, is your true malt. That's it. Um, but, but don't you think we ought to get going? Hmm? I can handle it. <coughs> put a wee bit of fire in my belly, like we're going to do to yon wombat. And then... Away we'll go! <laughs>